Hello, all you watch enthusiasts around the globe. Here's the watch I receive for the review. So it's not my watch, but I'm not paid in any way and I will return this watch after I finish with this review. So this what I will tell you and write you because I will also I also doing the right review. Is it what I think about it? And actually what I always do with do these reviews is to show you about the watch, not my personal opinion, maybe in the end, but um, I'm just showing you uh, what it is. So um, this is prototype. So there could be changes. I'm not sure yet, but um, I like this box. It's it's not expensive box, but it's really nice because as you can see, it's have different way of opening. I can see, but it's really nice. This is company logo. Uh, it's a Dutch company Leiden. And this is the Leiden Lorenz watch. There are three different uh, version, let's say version. So it's, it's quite simple box. It's a um, cardboard, hard cardboard box. But honestly, I like it. It's it's simple but effective. Really, really nice. Simple form. So, as I say, there is a, a three version of this watch. Uh, white, which I received uh, for the review. Uh, blue with uh, white uh, subdial, second a small second subdial, and the whole black uh, dial. I have some, oh, you know, I I do like this low tech style. So, actually, this is the uh, available option. This is a blue dial with white sub dial. This is the white dial I have right here for the view. And there is the all black dial. So, this is the three options which will be available. Uh, it is important to say this watch will be avail available available sorry uh, very soon on the Kickstarter through through Kickstarter campaign and this is going going to be I think not sure but I think I'm quite correct a second uh, campaign first one was quite successful and this is the second one will be second one so this is just a review of the watch you will uh, have chance to buy. Um, or buy back uh, support on Kickstarter. It's a dress watch, simple as that. And uh, as you can see, um, already again, this is prototype. So I guess there will get there will be some changes regarding this watch. But until now, it is how it is. So I will show you exactly what it is. Um, this is 39 millimeters case. I'll just measure it quite quickly. Let's see, zero, yeah. It's definitely zero. So this is 39 millimeters in diameter and uh, 11.7 millimeters thick. It's a doomed sapphire Christ crystal on the top with uh, anti-reflection coating from inside. Uh, between the locks is 20 millimeters. And from lock to lock is, and as I like to measure from literally pins, because that is the thing which you should measure. It is 42 millimeters between from lock, I mean not between, but from lock to lock. It's 42 millimeters, so it's quite small distance. So this should be variable for everybody, literally, because um, my only problem with this watch is, uh, um, as usual, sorry, but that's, that is how it is. Uh, the strap is too short for my, I mean, it's, it's exactly just about um, to, to fit my wrist, but my wrist is for uh, 21 centimeters or eight inch. So that's quite usual for me. So uh, case, uh, cases, all three cases or three dial options are made with same case. It's uh, 316L stainless steel. Um, 
And I like this case because it's quite telling. It. You see in profile, it's quite slim, 11.7 millimeters in overall thickness with doomed uh, crystal on the top. So it's quite easy to wear. Uh, lugs are drilled through, so it's quite easy to change strap, which I will show you later, or I will change different strap because I, I tried different strap. I have a few straps. No, who, who doesn't? Uh, so I try a few of them. Uh, and the uh, top of the uh, of the uh, case is uh, this bezel is bra uh, polished and then I don't know if you will catch it but uh, um, this locks they are short but it's really nice because they are faucetted and one side is polished and other side is brushed I really don't know if you can see it but it's it's really nice looking and again this part is brushed uh, polished, but whole side of the case is brushed in this direction, and it's really fine brush, so it's almost satin brushed. Also, uh, inside between the locks is brushed, but in different directions, so it's uh, vertical direction, and here is the horizontal direction. Anything else around the case? Yeah, well, crown. It's right how it should be. I, I didn't find anything wrong with the, with the crown. It's 5.4 millimeters in diameter, and it is. Let me check. 3.3 millimeter thick. Easy to operate. I have thick fingers and. Without any problem, I can operate this watch. So, this crown, easy to do it, enough grip for it. So, I didn't find anything wrong with this or something to to mention. Uh, on the top of the crown, you can uh, it's the logo of the company, to cross keys. Um, I did ask uh, owner of the company about this and um, I suggest it's if it's possible to be more um, or stamped or engraved or etched because it's I think it needs more something you know to be better shown something like that I, I don't know I just missed something here on the top because it's it, it, it is there but you really need to check to see how it's look dial as you can see it's a small uh, second uh, movement uh, it's a mechanical movement we will go there just as uh, turn it around um, two hands with small line of uh, c1 uh, loom and on each applied uh, I'll try to show you I hope you, you, you see there is also in the middle applied c1 loom on each uh, power marker <clears throat> sorry and it's actually it's it's quite nice I, I will show you um, later on um, the, the loom uh, loom shot so you will see what they how they look it's nice green not lasting too too long but this is rest watch so this is quite actually just nice feature of of the dial so here is the loom shot, uh, and as you see, it's still quite bright here, but um, the loom is quite visible. I will try to do even even more darker environment for this shot. Just give me a second. So here is the really dark, and uh, as you can see, it's still quite nice. I will say, well, um, handset have really thin line of C1 loom, so don't expect it's, it, it's gonna last too long. But uh, however, indexes have quite nice in amount of uh, C1 loom, so I guess they will, well, not guess, but they, they, they will last for a few hours at least, so it's gonna be good to check the time in some dark 
um, evening occasion. The white uh, dial, dial is um, actually paint white, but it's um, really it's hard to see it on the on on uh, on the video. But in real life, it's look almost not as but almost as um, made uh, with enamel white in enamel enamel. Or I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest, uh, but uh, you know that white milky opacity of uh, white animal. Well, it's it's almost have that look. It's nice. I, I can say anything other than it's it's nice. It's looking nice. It's look really elegant. And okay, now we come to the movement in this watch. Uh, this is Celita. SW216-1. Uh, this is the second iteration of the Celita movement uh, of uh, series two family 200 uh, Celita movements. This is hand wound, as you can see. There is no uh, atom uh, weight balance on it, and it's it's really you can see. Check this. As I screw it, there is the logo, and there is not much any other decoration on the on the movement. Um, it's it, this is excellent movement, no question about it. Um, I will show you on time grapher how it's working. This is actually practically from the factory. Uh, without any regulation or, or, or anything else. It's just literally from the factory um, movement and actually I've got in two weeks, I have this watch for the last two weeks, um, I've got approximately plus minus, plus minus th three seconds. Okay, I, I'll say three seconds, but it's somewhere between three and four seconds um, plus minus, but actually it's more going to plus than to minus, so it's actually, I will say, in total, in two weeks, plus three seconds, and that's it. Um, the factory specification for these movements is plus minus 12 seconds, so it's it's okay. It's more than okay, actually. Um, it's open case, as you can see, um, and this is mineral crystal. Uh, <clears throat> on the front it's sapphire crystal with uh, anti-reflective coating from inside and on the back, on the open uh, back case is uh, mineral crystal uh, and back case is green out. Uh, re uh, crown is regular pull in, pull in, out, so no surprise there. Um, the Water resistance is three atmosphere or thirty meters. So I don't know. It's not watch, and of course it's coming with a leather strap. It's genuine leather, nothing special. But it's nice strap with, again, stamped logo, and the company name and the watch name, stamped on the. I don't know why I have always problem with, yeah, with. The focus on on this phone. As usual, I have everything recording with my smartphone. So, and the buckle, it's a butterfly type, nice one, elegant, working fine. With a double release pushers, never have problem with that. In two weeks, everything was working fine, and this is how it's done. Well, I'm doing everything behind the camera, so it is a bit different. So, as you can see, it on my wrist. And this is 39 millimeters case. As you can see, it's looking quite nice, elegant, real dress watch. Nice dress watch. There's no 
question about it. Okay, so uh, now I will show you time grapher. Okay, so here is the time grapher, and as you can see, in horizontal position, it is five seconds. Of course, I'm talking, so there is some deviation, but that is five seconds in the horizontal position, and when you put it's a nice little movement from Celita, quite accurate. Uh, this is without any regulation, practically strictly from the factory. Uh, and it's quite good. And in real life, even better than on the time grapher with different position, because when you wear it, it's, it's a lot of different position. So, as I say, my experience with this movement uh, in uh, in this watch uh, with on wrist time it's approximately plus four seconds in two weeks daily uh, so it's 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 that is quite nice uh, this is the leather strap with which came uh, this watch came now i will show you a few different options this is a few straps I have on my disposal. They are all uh, 20 millimeters, as you can see. And uh, now I will put all of them uh, on the on, on the watch and just show you how it's look on the wrist. So, magic of the video. Here is the one option with the brown. Uh, oh, it's not real corporal, but let's say crocodile leather uh, this one is actually my own collection and well not my collection but i bought this strap so and it's long enough that is my point it's very new so it's still quite stiff but i think it's, it's look nice Really nice with this strap. Well, this is a black leather strap. Well, this is a little bit high quality leather strap, but still, it's very elegant. Long enough for my wrist, but as I say, I do have, well, let's say, few straps always and this is how it's look on different strap this is one of well i will say this is casual look okay i turn around on the wrong side the this mesh but i really like how this watch looks on this mesh and uh, this is metal shark mesh and it's quite thick but I really, really like how this watch looks on this mesh and it's give that um, casual note um, when you want to go out in some casual outfit. I think this is the best way how to wear it. I really like it. And this is also one of my favorite combination. Okay, uh, this bracelet is literally cheap from uh, AliExpress and I have it just in case I need it. Actually, this is for literally another project then. And I, um, well, as you can see, I literally uh, bend and uh, adjust and uh, well, I did a lot of ugly stuff to this and link to, to fit on this uh, case, but uh, still it's not perfect. But as, as I say, this is just, I wanted to show you how this watch can look with the different uh, strap or bracelet options. Uh, personally, this is one, one mile of, of best uh, all, uh, together with uh, uh, metal shark mesh. But I am, um, well, let's say, bracelet man and I prefer bracelet to the um, 
leather but i do have few leather nice leather straps so um, no problem there but i think somehow i think this watch gives more with this metal bracelet and uh, regarding the as you can see it's quite easily to operate crown even with my thick fingers and the big wrist and interestingly enough with the uh, metal bracelet this watch actually looks quite nice on my wrist even big wrist and uh, as i said this is the chip uh, maybe 20 pounds um, on the aliexpress not bad actually it's it's doesn't have any sounds it does work well this is normal but quite nice i like this actual version it's dual, dual tone and it's for actually made um, this is for the night watch and i'm still not finished with us with that but i bend this handling so so bad so i will probably need to buy another one but for this watch and for this presentation it's just okay so uh, this is a different options I'm sorry for the this watch and as you can see they all look different hi guys uh, as you can see and read uh, by mistake i deleted the last maybe two minutes of the uh, this review uh, nothing serious actually it's only ending everything but here is the couple of my photos with different options of straps and bracelet so i hope you will like it anyway uh, as usually uh, thank you for watching uh, share it uh, please subscribe it on my youtube channel and uh, Happy watch hunt to all of you. There is a few more pictures after this, but that's it, generally. So, thank you very much for watching.